Hello everybody and welcome back to the City Skylines traffic tutorial fixing traffic with mods and um, yeah this area looks like exactly how we left it when the game first started pretty much it's maybe not there's not a huge line of cars here because that's all been fixed downstream maybe there's a little bit less in this area but for the most part this is looking just as nightmarish as always and I think just like we did with this section of town right by fixing it um, at the ends, right? We started with the roundabout, then we did the DDI, then we sort of, um, we, we collapsed on the center here by fixing uh, the traffic at the intersections, doing a lot of work on the actual intersections themselves, making them custom. Um, I think here, we should also kind of work from the outsides here. So if we look here, we were getting an unusual amount of traffic here, but it's kind of fixing itself. And then we're getting some, there's some unusual traffic here as well. So let's just go in and as a preliminary thing, let's just let's just get rid of these traffic lights. And then if we're getting issues, if we need to build a traffic light, we will build a custom traffic light. If we need to build a traffic light, it will be a custom traffic light. We're not gonna trust the game to create a traffic light. It's just not uh, not an efficient system there. We're going to have massive issues here. That's just that's just the reality of it. And I'm actually kind of hesitating to get rid of these. Just because this is such a mess right here. But let's just get rid of them for now. Um, what we do might actually recreate them though. The funny thing is just fixing traffic in one half of the city is actually kind of helping with the other half. Sometimes when you fix traffic you actually create the traffic just moves somewhere else. When you have such an inefficient system like this anyways what basically simple thing to do network extensions my favorite road type i mean come on you guys have seen me use this a hundred times already the small four lane road this thing is almost like a cheat this is almost a cheat we want it on default here find road tools we do not want it on ground or we're going to create a uh we're going to create a uh a dam here so let's uh let's just go in Fill that in there. Get some proper main roads. Now this is all low dense. See, it's funny. Building the high density on the outside like this so that all these people that live here have to travel through the low dense neighborhood. Yeah, the city planning here, not what I would call efficient. But we're just going to go through here. And this, I think, alone. I don't think we're going to have to do anything else to this section. I think it's going to fix itself. I think this is going to fix itself. And all we're doing right here is we're just creating some dedicated, like, main roads. You know, just let the cars take the main roads a little bit higher speed. There's nothing really wrong with these here. Why do we have industry in this area? The European industry looks kind of interesting. It's like downtown... weird how here it looks like it's a mix and here it looks like it's all sort of the Europe well, no I guess it is a mix too hm. interesting assets very cool we're gonna have to actually do a legitimate city with the European theme at some point um so here though like this this is just silly in fact I'm actually wondering do we have cars that are actually coming up here and just going straight through yes we do yep so this is why you can't trust the ai in the base game it's just this is why traffic manager mod here is so important to be able to paint these lines you know and then here these people cannot go straight why would we want these people going straight game but here's the thing we don't really want them going that way either but that's going to at least fix some of the, that issue. We need to paint this everywhere because they should not be allowed to go straight. Ay ay ay. This is probably all going to happen. This is one of those things. Some of these, like when you have a massive traffic issue like this, it's just it's it's literally like it's in the core of the city. Um, you're going to have to redo a lot of this traffic manager stuff. Personally, I've gotten to the point I just enjoy this. 
I just get a kick out of doing these lane connect connectors, especially especially when it all works, you know. Like when you uh when you actually see that uh things are working properly. And this is all temporary, right? Because I really shouldn't even be doing this right now. Because uh, we're going to come in and actually change the road types here. Which is going to ruin all of my painting here. But, heck, I, I really don't think we're actually going to need to do that much here. This is not a system that I would necessarily develop myself, but I don't think we're going to need to do a lot here. As you can see, most of this traffic is only because there's traffic here. It's just because this physically is backed up here and here. Um, if we were able to um, get... If, if these able, cars were able to go as fast as you know the speed limits allow then it would just it would fix itself. So we'd need a better system here and here. And I know what we're going to do for that, but we're going to do that next episode probably. This episode is going to be about sort of like cleaning up this area here, which we've already started. The other thing we're going to want to do though is why is this not a four lane here? We could actually try to do this as a... Uh, we can actually try to diverge this too. Clean that up a bit. And this is what I'm talking about. Did I destroy all of my things? Yeah, I did. But see how it doesn't even give them the option to go straight anymore, so we don't have to play around with that, actually. They, they can't go straight. They're not allowed to. Just by adjusting those roads, it actually kind of auto-corrected. So this is... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What we could do, actually, is we could say, okay, you guys have to hook wide. If you're going left, that's because you want to get to this side of town, correct? So you guys hook wide. Or you hook in. These people are here because they want to turn left. These people either want to get there or continue through to the next part of the city. We're going to have to double check that this uh, this logic checks out here. Like we could even have them like avoid that. We could actually have them kind of come up like this. It's not Perfect because these people then are forced to go straight or turn left, but look at this. There's not really much going on on the left anyway, so they need to go around the block. Ugh. Why do these not connect? Exactly. So what's the thought process there? What was the thought process there, guys? Okay. What were we just... Where were we at? Basically, though... These people coming off the thing... Don't need to turn left here. We'll make them go wide. What we're doing. We actually set this up correctly. We could... Yeah, they don't even have an interchange. They don't have a way to even change lanes here in the middle. By default, unless we gave them one. Unless we gave them one. That looks good. These straights should be going into two lanes. These should be fanning out into one lane each. Fanning out into one lane each. 
And we're saying, yeah, we could, we could, it's kind of an option there. We could give them the two lanes or not. I think that's a decent system. Because there's enough of these, right? It should spread the traffic. The traffic should be spread out throughout this entire area. Let's just do this one because this one is at the point of high traffic. So this one could give us uh, give us some grief. Let's double check that there's nothing in the middle. Yep, it can't change lanes in the middle. There's no invisible junction here. All right, so we've upgraded some roads, made them sort of main roads. We've sort of cleaned this up. Why are we getting an issue here? This, again, this is not necessarily the system I would build, but it should work fine. Okay, it looks like it's a pedestrian. There there's actually a significant pedestrian issue here. We might need to add time traffic lights if we're finding that particular ones are busier than others. Alternatively, maybe even just doing some connections, some side roads would be good, like re reducing the dependency... Okay, we gained a bunch of money because of the thing. So we are playing a scenario, right? So the game's trying to tell us that uh, something crazy. Oh yeah, we we definitely need money. A million something bucks, we need money. All right, so let's just do that to reduce the dependency on the freeway. You know, if someone just needs to go from here to here, we don't need them going through the system. We can just have them connecting there. That's fine. It's kind of making sure there's any like doing connections. Making logical connections. I don't suspect there'd be much traffic here, but let's just give them that connection just in case. And usually when you're designing the city, right, these connections are already going to exist. Just as you naturally build your city. You naturally build your city. You're going to have all these connections there. It's not going to be so... There's not going to be so many dead ends unless it's like a residential neighborhoods... Perfectly adequate for dead ends. This here, what is this, commercial? Oh, it's high dense. Eh. It's not the worst thing in the world, but this, look at how many intersections we're building here. Look at how many intersections we're building here. I actually like that this doesn't connect here because it just keeps them moving forward. But then I would rather this not be here at all. In fact, it almost would be kind of weird to actually have this not connect. And this just connects here, so they have to move up to this intersection, but it's it's fine. Okay. I'm just kind of doing a quick scan here. Kind of observing this. Uh, see, we don't really have... We could fix this. Let's, let's work on this. This is a, a nightmare situation over here, actually. This is a complete nightmare situation. Get everybody piling into this one lane. Where are they actually going? Where are these cars actually trying to go? Looks rather 50-50 actually to me. Maybe a little bit more to the left here. Okay, so the bulk of what's going on here, right? Junction restrictions. You guys are allowed to move through... It's so... Oh, we just got a swivel. Can we, can we zoom in? Oh, fix it. I'm trying to highlight this circle here. This isn't the end of the world because we don't... <laughs> eh, game, you're funny. You're funny, game. If that changes it. Oh, not time traffic. Wait, junction restrictions. Very funny game. Very funny. We got the one that we need, right? We got the one that we need. Why does this even exist? Someone comes up this way, they can come into here, and then they can turn left. Why would they need to do that? Someone comes this way, they can do that to turn... 
Why would they need... This doesn't need to exist. Yeah, that doesn't need to exist here. Neither does this. Those are okay. These are okay. Because it gets them... It gets these cars off and these cars on without having to deal with this. But yeah, those just needed to be removed, actually. That was just incredibly unnecessary. Lots of pedestrian movement here. Lots of we can fix that. We can fix that. Let's uh, let's work on this here. Actually, I don't know. Do we need to work on this now that we've done that? Do we need to work on this, or is this working fine? I think uh, yeah, just the uh, the junction restrictions is really all that was going on here. Now, if there was a huge backup here, we'd just do a time light, right? We just do a time light. This looks fine. Looks fine. This, however, is a problem. Now, this is because of just general backups on the main freeway, right? General backups here is causing this backup, so we're not too concerned about that. Here, though, this is something else. This is pedestrian nonsense, is what it is. It's pedestrians. So let's, um, and of course, you know, by having a, amazing public transportation lines and all that, we can uh, we can fix that. But we're going to fix it without doing that this time. So of course, you know, having good public transportation is always a means of improving your traffic, right? Literally, you're uh, you're putting cars off the road. But literally, all we're going to do is we're just going to make a tunnel here. I'm going to make a tunnel, and uh, we're using um, using Anarchy to be able to make it kind of the way we want, but we're going to use Move It to kind of adjust it a bit here. It doesn't need to be this elongated there. It looks it kind of looks fine. People are already using it, but the way we're going to force everybody to use it is to re uh, disallow people from actually... Uh, Walk, like crossing here the thing is it's weird oh it's not a highway that's right it's not actually a highway. Yeah, no no stop go go through the tunnel everybody all these people should just go go to the tunnel yep and we could do a tunnel over here too in fact why not since we're on the let's make it a really 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 awesome efficient system Because we actually do have a little bit of room in here, don't we? Ah, we took out a little bit of the building. That's okay. Use move it here to grab this node. Whoops. Move it. Stretch that out so it just looks a little nicer. A little bit more symmetrical there. Not completely. And then we can go in with this and actually just do a little connection here. Uh, we can connect them over here, actually. They don't have to go... If they're just trying to get across the street, they don't have to go all the way around. Because what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to actually go here. Prevent them from crossing on that side. So that we're not going to get a backup of cars here waiting for pedestrians. If they need to cross here to here, they can either go there, which I'd rather they not do. But they can get into the tunnel, and then they can. we can actually see if any of them are actually using this. Can get in the tunnel and they can come around here. Some of them are using it. Not as much here though. Some of them are. Some of them are. We're not getting a lot of a crossing here because again, a lot of them are just going to do it in the tunnel. Great. And we could continue. You know, anywhere we have massive pedestrian foot traffic, it's it's really does massively help traffic to get them. And look at this. That's. Kind of so I don't want to say that completely solved the traffic issue, but it, it's certainly helping. It's certainly... Whoa, 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 whoa. That car just goes straight through? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, we got to keep an eye on that. Got to keep an eye on that. The other thing we could do here is actually be like, we could go here and see, okay, are we giving these people... I don't think we need to do that. 
this is flowing decently again considering how poor of a system this is it's flowing decently and if we really wanted to we could come through there's not that many pedestrians here but this is such a problem here and this sort of directly ties into this nonsense here which is actually sort of just fixing all the traffic everywhere else is kind of retroactively fixing this on its own but we are we, there are big plans for what we're going to do here but i think we actually do want we have a pedestrian system here we, we could add a pedestrian system here i'm also realizing that we should probably just do connection here and give the sims a little bit more freedom to go move around I don't need them to be so hog tied you go one way to get to one place like give them some options here Three-way intersections tend to have less traffic issues than four-way. So it's it's just kind of a good rule of thumb to um, to try to minimize the four-way intersections. Of course, four-way intersections are a part of any real city, right? You can't completely avoid them, and it's unnatural to completely avoid them. So it's okay to have some. But like here, I don't mind adding this, but I don't really want to add... I don't want to come in here like this that would be an annoying four-way intersection there i think so what we're going to do is we have a pedestrian walkway here they can they can walk around here to their heart's content let's give them a pedestrian walkway here with a lot of traffic even though there's not a lot of pedestrian traffic and then we'll actually bar them from crossing here too so that it'll force them to use the two um, options they have on the wings so in in the other interesting thing we can do actually is we can come in here sort of on the on the thought process of pedestrian crossings we can give them this crossing here choose anarchy to really get in there and get get it the way that we want so we can actually connect connect these for the pedestrians um, this way just fine there you go so while we're not giving traffic uh, cars the option across there the pedestrians are going to have that flexibility same here totally again we're not giving the cars a way to get through but the pedestrians will be able to get through just fine Okay, so the pedestrians, I think, are getting well taken care of, but let's set them up here. Kind of deep. We can uh, we can play around with that with move it, right? Build it and then fix it with move it. just go back to the tunnel mode and try to see okay why is that is that really awkwardly deep it doesn't actually look that deep it's fine we can raise it a little bit no harm in that okay. and it's raising the, the ground up but that actually looks a little bit more natural the slope there looks a little bit more natural i think really what we got to do is we got to just pump this up there we go that's that's looking better Okay. So now that we have a means for them to get through there. I'm considering whether we need to do it on both sides. There's not really that much going on on this side. Yeah, there's not really much going on on that side. So I think one side's going to be enough. Let's go in here and uh, remove their ability to cross here. We're sort of setting the stage for the final. I think what's going to end up being the final couple episodes here which is going to be tackling this, this last issue. Actually, we don't want to bar them from crossing there and there, just, just there. Okay, now let's also go here and, and bar them from here. So that if they want to cross, they're going to have to come down to this tunnel or go up to this tunnel, depending on where they're ultimately trying to go. 
Alrighty, so if we check out the traffic over here, this is looking... This was red, actually. <laughs> Originally, this was completely red. Now it's looking fine. It's orange here, if only because there's a lot of high density, and the road system here is not great. So, naturally, there's got to be cars. They have to leave there to go to work, so... Again, the city layout here is abysmal, so there's really no way to create traffic that's worse than what we have here. But for the most part, there's no tra there was red traffic here. There was red traffic, you know, in these areas here, and it's all fixed. This is all fixed. Basically using the original city's layout, too. We're not doing any... We're not rebuilding districts or anything like that, you know what I mean? And we have one more... We're up to 69%, and we have this big, massive, completely gridlock system here. Which really all comes down to this and this, right? It's just basically these two disgraces of um, of intersections there. So we just need to uh, interchange it. So we just need to uh, fix these, replace these. And uh, I think we're going to see our city well above 85% traffic flow. There's no traffic down here at all. No traffic anywhere up here except for what's related to here. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching another episode. Um, that one, I think we focused on sort of giving pedestrians additional passage and uh, just sort of also like readjusting road types and just making sure uh, traffic isn't going unnecessarily taking side avenues when they should be staying on the main freeway we we're getting some tra we we're getting traffic actually going through this intersection just to keep going on the freeway which is insane so thank you so much everybody for watching i will see you guys in the next one